Usually at this point, I'd be thrilled to talk about the next horror film or horror thriller film for Halloween. Unfortunately, this film is as bad as it gets, worse as it gets, and of course it has to be the first official shitty movie for our Halloween reviews. Let's get it going. Vacancy. Vacancy has to be one of the worst movies I ever had to review for this Halloween right now, as of right now. They could get better or worse than this later on, but right now it's the first official one. The first official stupid movie of the week for Halloween reviews. <sighs> so, this atrocity of a film stars Luke Wilson and Kate Beckinsale. Oh, and also the dude from Broken Arrow, now 11 years older. You know, the loser from Broken Arrow who had the suits on, he was on the airplane talking to that black dude that gets killed in the chopper. Yeah, that little dude with the black hair at the time. Yeah, him. That's who's the bad guy in this movie. And in this movie, you have uh, Luke Wilson and, of course, Kate Beckinsale. There's a married couple in here. And their car breaks down after Luke Wilson takes a wrong turn from the main streets to the back road streets. So they end up walking to this motel where they end up staying the night until they can get some help in the morning. When they soon discover that the hotel or the motel room they're staying in was once occupied by many other guests, but the guests were basically murdered by a bunch of guys in masks. And yeah, stupid them leaves the videotapes on top of the TV in that room so they can find it on purpose I guess and try and get out of there it's like they're playing with them but they're doing it so stupidly that they, they, they want them to find out that they were killing people and shit like that and that could mess up all their plans that they have been doing since then you see what I'm saying it's a plot like that that makes this movie stupid why would you leave your evidence of you killing people out on the fucking TV as if all willy nilly like oh they ain't gonna pay no attention they're not gonna pop it in the VCR or something like that when you don't have cable or you don't have TV you just got those videotapes yeah yeah they're not gonna worry about watching the videotape you know anyway so once they find out what's going on, they basically have to fight through the night to survive the onslaught of these two masked dudes and the guy from Broken Arrow. This movie is just crap, man. I, I swear. You don't give a shit about nobody in this movie. And let me tell you why. If you haven't seen this movie already, you probably don't know. Kate Beckinsale and Owen Wil I mean Luke Wilson's dilemma is something happened in their family history that Beckinsale blames herself for and that says since then caused a ruckus or rocky road in their relationship okay but I get you have a family tragedy I get that it does not turn you into fucking assholes seriously at the start of this fucking movie they are bitching whining and complaining at each other like it ain't nobody's business no couple would do that shit in the face of a tragedy like that nobody would do that shit nobody would sit there and say oh I blame you for this person being dead and stuff like that if they did they'd be a heartless motherfucker and that's exactly what these two end up being for the first half basically it's a heartless stupid couple that all, all they do is bicker and whine and stuff like that all you want to do is watch them die that's all you want to see them do I was waiting for them I wanted them to die I don't give a fuck about them and that's the main problem when you only have two characters you're supposed to give a shit about you're supposed to write in ways that you can we can give a shit about the characters but if you're writing in ways for them to be fucking assholes who's gonna give a shit we're basically you basically tell people oh come pay this money to see these people die 
You know, because we're not, we're not supposed to give a shit about them. Just come over here and watch them try and survive. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, that, that works. This has got to be the most pointless movie I've ever seen. Really. I mean, seriously. This movie has no impact. It has nothing going for it. You don't give a shit about nothing that's going on in this movie. At all. That's kind of sad if you ask me. What horror movie has no fucking purpose? Besides House of Wax. Which we'll get to. But. Uh, and the fact that they made a prequel to this. But put the number two in a prequel. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Hopefully it's not as bad as this piece of shit. Look, don't watch it. The acting sucks. The movie's only 85 minutes, so it's extremely short, thank goodness, because this movie does not deserve to be 90 minutes. Hell, this movie didn't even deserve to come out in theaters. This is the type of shit that should have been released direct to video. And Blu-ray, since Blu-ray just started at the time. No wonder nobody ever talks about vacancy. Who wants to talk about a bullshit ass movie like this? <laughs> this is only my second time seeing this movie. The last time I saw it, I was younger at the time. I believe it was probably right after it came out. So I don't remember much about the movie until I saw it now for the review. And yeah, it's just terrible. Skip this movie by all fucking costs. If you have not seen Vacancy, don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> You're not missing nothing. <laughs> Seriously. I'm giving Vacancy an F. Fuck this movie. Let me know what you guys think about this piece of shit down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Who the fuck would like this? Who the fuck would like this? Ugh. Oh my god. I'll see you guys in the fucking prequel. That prequel better have something going for it. I'm, I'm telling you right now, man. Shit.